in this lecture we are going to learn about what is known as bee trees so bee tree is an extension or generalization or generalization of binary search tree okay so it is an extended version of binary search tree where what happens is that we search but the node instead of having maximum of two children it can have maximum of m children okay so that's the difference so b tree it's an extension of binary search tree so b tree of order m satisfies the following property okay so b tree has an order which means it can have maximum of m children so binary search tree had maximum of two children so it is order two b tree and here binary search b trees can have any number like m is equal to 4 m is equal to 5 branching out or it can have that many children so let's see a few properties of the main properties of binary b trees each node has at most m children okay so like binary search tree where m is equal to 2 it can have maximum of 2 children here if it is m is equal to 5 it means one node can have maximum of 5 children or m children internal node the node which is not root and which is not the leaf each internal node has at least so there is more bound that it has at least m by 2 children ceiling of m by 2 children and maximum it can have m children okay so there is a range it can have minimum of m by 2 children and maximum of m children the root has at least two children unless it is not a leaf node okay a non-leaf node with k children so has k minus one keys okay and all leaves appear in the same level so these are the constraints all leaves appear in the same level this is very important for keeping the height smaller keeping height bounded okay so small then a non-leaf node has k children then it has k minus one keys so for example if we have 5 9 this is the node it means in a binary search what happened if we had just say a key 10 it means left child had everything smaller than 10 the right child has everything greater than 10 in the subtree right subtree has everything greater than 10 left subtree had everything greater than less than 10 okay here what happens you have three children here the left subtree here will be having all elements less than 5 the middle subtree will have all elements between 5 and 9 right subtree will have everything greater than 9 so this is the thing so this keys help in dividing the numbers okay so it branches out into if there are m k minus 1 keys it branches out into k children root has at least two children each internal node has at least m by two children okay so if m is equal to 5 each node can have internal node can have 5 by 2 so it is equal to 3 to 5 node they can have so these are the properties let's see one example here okay so this is a b tree with m is equal to 3 so you see so these are letters o so o is a letter so it divides so it is the root and it divides it into two children so here everything less than o comes here everything greater than o comes to the right so we have t here and we have f here so again you see f now it divides here and everything to the left it has b in the key it has on the right it has something greater than f but it should be less than o okay so this is the relation here on the right we have here t whatever is on the left should be less than t but it should be greater than o so you have a q 
here everything should be greater than t you have a x okay so now you have here it should be less than b less than f so b so it is a it should be greater than b but it should be less than f so there is a d here here what happens you have a k so in this it should be between f and k so you have a g and so on okay so this if you see this tree so root has two children that is fine each node has at most three children so that is also fine each node has maximum of three children each have no one has three they have two this is okay root has two children done all leaves here are at the same level done if a node has two children so then it has one key that is also fine and each internal node has at least two children so that is also fine each internal node they have two children this is fine and maximum three children okay so this and all the leaves are at the same level so this ticks everything this is a binary tree of order three but is it also of order two and of course we know if it is an order two then what happens it is a binary search tree also okay so what is it is it a binary search tree also if you see yes it is also a binary search tree okay so this shows us one example of b tree with m is equal to 3 okay so you could have added here if we have changed also a little bit so for example if i could add here one so what can i add if you can add think what you can add here so x y z is also there so this is a difficult example to add something here but you could have added it here you could have something more okay so now let's see so here how search and insertion happens so this we will look for b tree okay with example that will make it more clear search so if we have to search let's say 17 so before insertion you have to first know where to find that in which node leaf node we have to insert it so first search we have to search 17 so of course it will not be found in this part because 17 is greater than 10 we go to this pointer where this child is so 17 is greater than 10 and it's less than 50 so bingo this is the child where i will get it so i come to this place because 10 is greater than less than 17 and it is less than 50 so it must be found in this part i come here I cannot find 17 so I need to insert and this is all leaf node so I can insert in this I insert in the ascending order so I will have one this now because this is m is equal to 5 so we have a b tree of order 5 so I can have four elements or keys in the leaf node here so here I can have a 17 this is fine okay all this is a b tree still so why is it a b tree of order m is equal to 5 okay so m is equal to 5 each of the node can have maximum of 5 children okay the root can have max between how many 2 and 5 children okay so that's also true all the leaves are at the same level okay so these are true so this is a b tree we could insert 17 here now let's see so i have this b tree till now i want to insert six again so for insertion first you have to search in which leaf node i can insert so six we see it's less than 10 so it must be inserted in this child so we come here so this is a leaf node and i have to insert it here somewhere but this is m is equal to 5 tree okay b tree so i can insert here but this overflows the leaf node which can store maximum of four elements or keys it is overflowed now so it has overflown so now we have two three five six seven which is not allowed so what we do 
break it into two parts left part is this right part is this and middle one we make it here and this goes now to the parent so this can be split like this five will come here so this two and three are less than that and six and seven are greater than that so this split will come here now this five where will it go so this you have to insert it into the parent so what happens i need to insert five here in the parent i can easily do because this parent can also hold this is the root this can hold between one to four elements so five gets inserted here this will come here two three is because they are less than it so they come here six seven now they are greater than five but because it was here in this block initially so everything was less than 10 so this will come here others remain the same as such okay next our task is to insert 21 so let's see 21 first we need to search 5 so it is not less than 5 we will not find it here between 5 and 10 if i see so 21 is greater than 10 it will not be found here i go it is is it between 10 and 50 yes 21 is greater than 10 but it is less than 50 so we should search here so 17 so now 21 will be inserted here but again if you do insert 21 here so this becomes five keys here in this leaf node it should be split 71 22 comes here 22 71 21 22 comes in the middle 44 45 so this becomes the root 22 17 21 and 44 45 this 22 should now go to the root so if i insert it into the root 5 10 22 will come here 50 four elements are allowed so this comes here and we have the b tree like this so 2 3 is less than 5 6 7 is between 5 and 10 17 21 is less than 22 and then 44 45 it is greater than and why we can just add here because i know that if it is added here so everything here will be less than 50 because of the property initially of the b tree so it follows so we have inserted in the sorted order so here these 17 and 21 were less than 22 and greater than 10 because of the previous b tree example and here 44 45 they were greater than 22 but they were less than 50 so this is done next we need to insert 67 okay 67 if you insert so what will happen so this is 2 and 3 okay and 6 and 7 so 67 is greater than its 50 so we will have to go here 67 you insert again five elements or keys are there in this leaf node split this part this part is there this becomes the root so 67 like this then what happens if now i insert 67 here so this root itself will have more keys than four so this root will now also split okay that's the problem so now what will happen this root will split so what will happen so 5 10 22 50 67 so there is a split here and then we will have 22 here as it will go and become the parent 5 10 will come here 50 67 will come here and now 5 so this will come here 6 7 will be here 17 21 will be here then it will come to this place okay and then you have the trees like this so we have now height of the tree has increased because of the split at the root okay and so we have the b tree final b tree like this so again here the root has at least one element and it has two children so minimum is fulfilled here because m is equal to 5 so here this has when you have m is equal to 5 so at least you should have 5 by 2 
ceiling so it is so you should have at least three children the internal nodes so these have at least three children so this property is also satisfied so it remains a b tree so whatever operations we did so it is remaining a b tree so root leaves are at the same level this is also satisfied each of the nodes have at maximum m minus 1 keys so that is also satisfied so it is a b tree so just to summarize the algorithm so first when you have to insert an element x use search procedure like the mary tree or a binary search tree generalized form to find the leaf node where x should be inserted add x to the appropriate place in the leaf node that is in the ascending order if there are less than m minus 1 or fewer keys then you are done insertion is successful but if there are more than m minus 1 keys now in the leaf so you have an overflow overflow means now split the node into two equal parts left and right and the one element will become the parent which is the middle one as we saw in these examples 22 was the middle element it became the parent left was 5 and 10 right was 50 and 67 so this is done so then add middle element to the parent and make these two new nodes as its child if there is overflow in the parent also split it and continue this procedure till the overflow occurs or till the root itself splits okay so in this last case root itself split here okay and here in some other cases what happened we only had to split till the parent okay so this was about insertion in b tree okay and about searching in b tree and generally what is b tree is as such so i hope you understand this video so thanks a lot